Hello, my name is Diane Elliott. I'm an Ikebana teacher with the Sogetsu School and the current director of the Sogetsu Seattle branch. Today I am going to be showing you a New Year arrangement. The New Year is often considered a time of renewal and celebration. Typical colors that are often used in New Year arrangements include red and white and green and gold and silver. I'm going to be using today a ceramic vase, a dark blue and black ceramic vase that was given to me by my mother-in-law and it probably dates from the mid 20th century. The materials I'm going to be using include dried monstera leaves, red and yellow varieties of winter berry or Ilex bruticella, New Zealand flax, yellow wave, sporbium, green hydrangea, and red carnations. I'm first going to place a structure that I built by putting three monstera leaves, dried monstera leaves together and spray painting them with silver paint. Now monstera deliciosa, also known as split leaf philodendron, even though it is not in the genus philodendron, is dries in a twisted pattern because of all the splits and holes that are in the leaves. So I'm going to put this into this vase. I already have a Jumonji Dome structure, fixture in this vase, which is a crossbar fixture. And next I'm going to add some of the New Zealand flax. to help hold the structure. The yellow wave New Zealand flax has a very nice curved leaves. And I'm going to stick the leaves through one of the holes in the monstera leaf. And to fix it in place, I have used some, some glue dots or glue, they are actually called glue dashes. And they are floral adhesive that comes in strips you know, like this, and they are clear. Add a couple of these.
could these make some nice loops? Which kind of emphasize the festive nature of the new year. Next, I'm going to add some of the berries. Berries are commonly used in New Year arrangements. As I said, these are Ilex verticella, which is winterberry or deciduous holly. And many of these berries like to self prune. I'm going to add some of the yellow berries as well to make kind of a big group of berries behind the monstera leaves. Then I'm going to add in front, I will add a green hydrangea. And as you notice, I'm doing creating this arrangement from the back so that you, the audience, can see it from the front as it's being created. And then I will add some more red in the form of carnations. Most of these have already been cut under water. Cut plants underwater to make them last longer. As I have mentioned in other videos, when you cut a plant stem in air, it tends to suck in an air bubble and will uh, not absorb water as well as when you cut it underwater when you cut it under water, it sucks up a water bubble. In addition to adding materials to the front and the sides, I'm also adding materials to the back of this arrangement. And next, I will add a third New Zealand flax leaf. Another carnation or two. So finally, I'm going to add another silver painted monstera leaf to this composition to add a little bit more movement to it.
And then I will show you some of the various sides of this arrangement. So this is a New Year arrangement with silver painted and dried monstera leaves, New Zealand flax, Ilex verticella or winterberry, hydrangea, green hydrangea, and red carnations. I thank you for watching this demonstration and hope you enjoy the rest of the exhibition.